Hey guys, I'm Steve. This is Wilmer Woodworks. Thanks for tuning in. Last video, I showed you how to make a layered ornament. So everybody seemed to really like that. I think a little demystification of Lightburn software by showing you how to use a few controls to make a very nice Christmas gift. Uh, and in this video, I am going to continue on that and I'm gonna show you how to use a circle array. Now a circle array, will take one element and following the path of a circle, it will just distribute an even or odd, you know, however many copies you want of that element. And then using a Boolean uh, union, we can connect these all together. And then adding a larger ornament or a snowflake and then some text. It's a very simple process and I will walk you through step-by-step step how to do it. And once you know how to do these basic steps, you can go through and make more elaborate layers. Uh, this one here uses the same concept, but then I added an additional snowflake with a wreath around it. Uh, so these are also options that you can do with enough patience and enough knowledge. So before we get into the software and before I show you how to do this step by step, I would like to say thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed newly to my channel. Uh, and I do hope to continue with more of these how to videos if you think that's beneficial to you. I won't know it's beneficial to you unless you leave a comment below and let me know what are you interested in? What do you want to learn? What kind of ornaments or what kind of projects are you trying to do with your laser that you're having a little bit of difficulty? Maybe I can help you there. So leave your comments below on what you'd be interested in seeing in an upcoming tutorial, and I'll see if I can make that happen. All right, now let's get right to it. All right, the first thing we're going to have to do is go over to canva.com, and you do not need a pro account. You can do this with a free account. And I'm just picking flyer, which is an 8.5 by 11 flyer. It doesn't really matter the size because we're only coming here to grab the elements that we need to make our design. So we do not need to use any of these uh, templates. We'll go straight to elements. And this ornament is going to be a snowflake. So we're going to take this graphic. Oh, and we do want to make sure we're only looking at graphics. We'll take this graphic. Take this graphic. And if your graphic comes through as white, you can always just change the color to black. And we'll take this graphic. And that's all we need to do. So we're going to just name this Snowflake element and we will download this as a transparent background and uh, this is saving as an SVG I am a premium member uh, so if you weren't a premium member you'd want to save that as a PNG we'll just hit download and once that is downloaded we will go over to Lightburn and begin to make our ornament all right, now that we're in Lightburn, we can start designing our element. So in the last video, I got a lot of traction with uh, just showing how to use different layers and make a layered ornament. And I think a lot of people are a little nervous about all the elements that are on the top and all the elements that are on the side of Lightburn. I'm not sure what they all do, and I'm hoping that with a few videos, I can at least get you comfortable enough to try to make some designs. So I'm going to choose the circle and ellipse tool. So if you hold shift while dragging the circle, it'll make a perfect circle. If you don't, it'll be a little off. And then you'll notice if you go back to the select tool and then you try to drag it to, it just gets larger because this element is locked. So if we unlock that, we can adjust this to four and four, and then that's the perfect circle. We hit save. Now I am working in inches right now, uh, just because that's my preferred uh, measurement. You can also change the measurement here by clicking on this button to change it back to millimeters or to inches. So again, we're going to start with a four inch circle. 
Now we are going to do an offset. So here's the offset setting. And what's nice is when you click on this, it'll give you a representation of what it's going to do. So we have an inward circle, an outward circle, or both. So that dotted line is the original line, and the solid line is the line that it will create once we click OK. So we're going to go with an inward offset, and I'm going to set this offset to 0.125, and again we are in inches, so going around that will add a quarter of an inch all the way around that circle. We're going to click OK, and now I'm going to drag and make another circle. Holding Shift, perfectly round, and I'm going to want to make this circle 2.75, 2 and 3 quarter inches. And I'm going to want to set another offset of inward 0.125. Click OK. We're going to go over to our Select tool, and now I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to align this by the centers. So you can click on this, and then click on that, but I use Align a lot, and this is set up for a basic setting. So what I will do is I will go to Edit, Settings, and turn off Beginner Mode. Once I click OK, you see all these additional options here. So now if I click on this little button here, that will align both to the center. Click off of that, and we are good to go. Okay, now we're going to bring in our element. So in this ornament, what I am going to show is how to make this ornament using a circle array. So simply what I'm going to do is take this ornament here, and I, and I am going to move this and scale this down and put this between these two circles. So this will be the outer circle, this will be an inner circle, and I just want this to be on the very top. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. So we select and we just make it a little smaller. And I'm just eyeballing. So what I'm looking to do when I'm aligning this is I want at least three points of contact. So what I'll do is I am going to select everything and I'm just going to do a oh I'm missing a circle that's what's going on I don't have my largest circle so I'll select I always want to make sure all those dotted lines and control back is going to be one of your friends okay so let's zoom in and I'm just scrolling in on the uh, the scroll wheel on my mouse or you can simply click on these buttons up here and then this button here will allow you to drag and move so I want to unselect everything and I just want to select this one ornament control Z goes back and we are just gonna make that a little bit bigger and then drop that down a little bit and alright so we've got one two three one two three make that ornament just a little bit smaller because I don't want to lose too much of the ornament just want it to barely touch. Select everything and align. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we're touching there, we're touching there, we're touching a little bit more up there, but that's that's okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to select this ornament and we're going to select this circle. So that's all I'm selecting is this ornament and then this circle here, this inner circle. 
And now I'm going to want to click on this button, and this button is the circle array. And once you click on that, it creates copies. Oh, and it follows this circle. So you can do this with anything. Uh, you could do it with snowflakes. You could do it with any object you like. And what's nice is we can just simply click on here and increase the amount of objects that it's creating. So we are going to want to keep increasing until these guys are holding hands. Look at that. So now we click OK and they're perfectly aligned around that circle. But we can't cut this out yet because we have, if we cut this out, all these little ornaments would just fall out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this circle and this circle and I'm going to weld those together. Now you might be tempted to just select everything and click on weld. Well that will not give us the results we want. So we're going to click on Control Z. I want to click on these two outer rings. So what we're welding is we're welding these two rings together so they're becoming one object. So now with the inner and the outer welded together we're going to hold shift and we're going to click on an ornament or excuse me click on a snowflake and we are going to do a boolean union of two shapes A plus B. So A being our outer circle and B being our snowflake. So we click on that and then that just cuts off that tail and makes this one piece. So let me hit Control Z and I'll show you if you do the other way that's going to subtract our outer circle. Now you might want that in a design but we're not going to cover that right now. We're just going to cover circle array and boolean union. So the Boolean union of two shapes. So this is going to be a little bit tedious and depending on how large your circle is or your elements are, we're going to continue to hold shift and we're just going to keep selecting and adding and clicking on the Boolean union. And you can see as we go around these snowflakes are getting cut directly for that circle. Shift, select, Boolean union. Shift, select, Boolean union. And then we just scroll out. Let's grab our little movement tool here. And now we can do the lower half of this ornament. So we choose our select, hold shift, select, Boolean union, Boolean union. And these ornaments are all the same size now. Shift, select, Boolean union. So I'm curious, what other types of ornaments or light burn techniques would you guys like to see? Let me know in the comments below and I will see about putting a tutorial together. I mean, this is great software, and sometimes you just need somebody to show you how to use it, and then there's so many benefits. So I like this one. I think this snowflake, so let's get rid of these other two. And you see, that's an issue too. So if I did want to use that, this ornament, you would want to select all of this and go up here to the three little people, and that creates a group. And now when I click on this and move it around, those inner pieces will actually move with this snowflake. But we're not going to use this one on this design, so we'll just delete these two. And now I'll select, hold shift. Actually, the next thing we're going to do is let's select this entire ornament and make sure that everything is grouped on that. Okay, it is, so we're going to hold shift and we're going to select this ornament. And now if you click on this little crosshair, this is align both centers. So we'll just click on this and move this to the center and then this will zoom in to our project. All right, so this ornament, or excuse me, this snowflake is a little large. So we're just going to shrink this down. I'm just grabbing an edge and I'm moving it down. 
And what I'm watching for is where these points land. So this point right now is still a little too large. So if I, I just want it to be on this inner circle. So I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. And then holding shift, select, and then center align. So that is a nice uh, setting there. So we're gonna hold shift, select, just like we did before, Boolean union, and this is our ornament. Now you notice on this ornament, I have not added the top little piece uh, because uh, if I did do all of these alignments, it would be aligning with that additional little bump out. So instead, I'm gonna do that on the very last piece. All right, so we can stop here if you like, or I'm gonna add a name. So in order to add a name, uh, what first I'm going to do is grab a rectangle. I'm going to put that rectangle right about there. Go to my select tool, select everything, align center. And now with this align center, I'm going to hold shift, select, Boolean union. See how, I mean, it's so easy with this Boolean union. And now I have the perfect place to put somebody's name. So I'm going to click on the text right here. And now with the text, as soon as you click, it will give you a cursor. And we will type in Olivia. And now with that selected, we can change this text to something a little bit more fitting here. So let's see. Oops. All right, so I do want this text to only be in this rectangle that I put. So let's see what other font we can use. And it gives you a nice representation of what the font will look like. Let's see, freestyle. I like that, and we can click on bold, and we can do italic. Um, we can do all caps, that's nice. And then we can also do some horizontal and vertical spacing, so we can push that out a little bit. And then once I have something that I like, I'll hold shift and I'll align both to center, and then that puts it perfectly in the ornament. So everything right now is on the same layer. So here are your layers over here, and this is line. You have line fill and offset fill. So I always like to set my number one uh, zero zero to be cut. And for my machine, I have the Creality Falcon 2 12 watt. So in order to cut out the material that I am cutting, I usually put my speed to 250 to 300 millimeters per minute with 100% cut with air assist on. So that's going to be my cut setting but I don't want to cut out the, t the name. So what I'm going to do is I'm, while this is selected, I'm going to click on the number zero one, the blue, and now this creates another cut layer. But I don't want to cut, I want to fill. So I'm going to change this to fill, and I'm going to do 6,000 millimeters per minute with 40% power. And it is set to fill, and you can change these, and we'll talk about these in another video, but this is enough to get you started on this ornament. So I'm going to select everything, and now I am going to hit group. And the very last thing we need to do is we need to weld on that little topper. So holding shift, I'm going to drag this, and I want this to be exactly half an inch. I'm going to do an inward offset, click OK. Now this is set to fill. I don't want to fill this. I want this to be a cut. So I'm going to change that to level two. And then I'm just going to bring that down. So the very top of this inner circle is very close to, there we go. Actually, that's touching. I don't want it to be below. Let me just put it right there and then holding shift select. Now you're not going to want to do a center align, you're going to want to do a vertical align. 
So we'll move that over. Now that's perfect. And before we weld that, we just want to unselect. And the reason that I had this grouped was because if this wasn't grouped before and I did that alignment, the, this text would be off. So now that just that is selected, I'm going to select. Our text is not selected, so we're not going to weld the text together. And we're going to select the inner and the outer circle, and we're going to do a weld. And then we will select this entire ornament again and hit group. And that's it. We are done. This ornament is perfectly set up. So I'm going to offer this ornament uh, for as a free download, just like the other ornament. And actually, I think what I'll do is I will leave this without the text, so you can add your own text in there. So now we'll go over to our laser cutter, and we will cut this ornament out. So let me know, like I said, in the comments below, uh, if these how-tos are beneficial for you, if you'd like to learn specifically one aspect of these tools. Uh, I don't really have an order to how I'm going to put these videos out there. I figure Christmas ornaments with Christmas right around the corner uh, is going to be very popular. But if there's another technique, or even if you see an ornament out there and you have no idea how they create that and you would like to learn that, uh, let me know and I will see what I can do. All right. That is the video on how to use a circle array to make an ornament or how to use a circle array to actually place an element around a circle. Uh, that is a very useful uh, tool to use if you need to better than copy and paste, copy and paste, or even duplicate to duplicate this because they're all evenly spaced now and it took very little time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this video and you got some interest out of it, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I'm going to ask you to watch either this video or this playlist. After you watch a few videos, then I encourage you to subscribe. I'm Steve. This is Wilmer Woodworks. Until next time.